Alright guys, how's it going? This is Voodoo from Task Force Neptune. Today we're going to be doing a loadout review of my current loadout for my team. It's a Marsoc inspired loadout, it's not a Marsoc compression kit. I will be working on that soon, but for the moment I'm just going to take a look at this loadout. I'm going to start from the helmet and work the way down and then we'll do the gun at the end. So let's get into this. Alright guys, so here we go, we've got the helmet. It's an Emerson Oxcore. Um, as this is a inspired loadout and not an impression kit, I will be going for the Marsa or sorry, the uh, Mitch helmet, um, but for now I'm running the Oxcore. Um, so we're gonna start with the front. We've got the GoPro on the front here, but it's mounted upside down. I prefer it because you get a better camera angle whenever you're using it. And it, it just looks better, in my opinion. So we'll move on to the side here, we've got the call sign patch. TF13, that's my personal call sign. On the other side, we've got the IR flag. Stars pointing forward, as a lot of guys pointed out things. And on the back here, we've got an MS2000 strobe, and it's a working one, it's not the GMP dummy one. And on the back here, we've got shotgun cartridge holders, which have the CR123 batteries, as you can see there. I just it's quick access to, to get them in the torches and stuff, you're not fumbling around in the pouches and stuff. Um, along that we've got the uh, retention system. Um, at the moment I've just got um, chem lights in there, but you can use this for multiple things. You can customise this, so you can have torches, you can have um, camouflage and all sorts of stuff. So it's a pretty good system, but it also looks cool as well. So anyway, well, I think that about wraps it up for the helmet, so we'll move on to something else. Along with the helmet, I'm currently wearing the boogie regulators. These are fake ones. Reason being, the real ones I had snapped. The armband snapped three times, or the uh, the band to attach it, and the foam all came off. So that's why I went for the fake ones for now. Um, also got the contact twos here uh, by Said Tactical. All right headset, but they're a bit unreliable. So I'm actually switching out to the sorting headsets, waiting to get them soon. So that's it for the, the helmet and the top person, so we're going to move on to the, the fest next. Okay, so here we go, we have the fest. It's a Fly 6094 in Cowdery Brown. Um, I've swapped out all the Cody Brown um, pouches for multicam. So we'll start from the top, got multicam shoulder pads. Just about to see them there. Um, working our way down, got a PTT. Got my sort of nickname slash call sign, Voodoo. And got the Marsoc slash Marine Raiders patch. Uh, v light in blue. And an IR chem light. And the admin pouch I'm running at the moment is the Helium Whisper. Uh, Blue Force gear pouch. Um, in here, I've got. I just point out I've got all my GoPro batteries. I've got the loading rod from a BFGs. All that sort of stuff. It's it's really handy. Always good to have an admin pouch. Moving on down, we've got six Stanag mags here, and we've got two backup ones on the side. Also, we've got the mag pulls here. Uh, pretty standard. I've got. Actually, we'll switch them around the other way. It just seems to be the cool thing to do at the moment. So, and um, we've also got a kangaroo pouch for the insert. So we've got the six mags up front. On the right here, we've got the Baofeng UV5R. Um, take that out quickly for you. Uh, this one's got the extended aerial and the extended battery on it. So, for outdoors, if you're playing big games, mill sim games, you can obviously get a lot more range with this aerial and battery life. This thing could last for a week without dying on you. So. It's a pretty good wee investment and they're a cheap radio and very effective. A lot of people seem to use them. Moving on to the right, sort of cosmetic stuff, but you've got IR, uh, IR cam light, you've got the scissors, which are actually quite useful, they're the medical scissors. And we've got a, what do you call that thing? Tourniquet, that's it. That's a real tourniquet. Don't know if we'll ever get to use one of them or need to use one of them, but it's always best to have one, I guess. Um, oh shit, we've also got a medical pouch in the back which has some medical supplies. 
On the left hand side, uh, another Blue Force gear pouch, it's another general purpose pouch. Um, I've got my speed loaders, wipe for my goggles, things like that, you know, just general stuff. And then, as I said before, I've got the two backup mags, got some cam lights on there just for detail. And so at the top, we've got free smoke grenade pouches. I use these from uh, the BFGs, the blank firing grenades. Uh, it's easy access for teammates just when you're clearing rooms. And I'm normally first man in, so it's good to have someone behind you who can access those grenades. Underneath that, we have a long Blue Force gear pouch. I basically just use that for gas, that's all that's used for. Um, this setup is a really easy way of doing a feral concept or quite precision style backplate without actually spending a hundred odd quid. You know, this was a very cheap setup and it does the job perfectly. Okay, so we've got the Tag Gear replica PCU here. Um, it's in grey, obviously. Um, it's what Marsoft used, so it's what we use, I guess. Um, we've got the Special Forces Commando patch again that Marsoft used. Again, it's not an impression kit, but we like to run with it. Um, we've also got our team patch here, uh, Task Force Neptune. It's copied from Medal of Honor, you know, but we like it, it works for us. That's what we're using at the moment. We are in the process of designing custom patch, but until that happens, this is what we're running with. Also, we've got the mechanics gloves. Standard mechanics gloves. Well, they're actually the, the 0 0.2 uh, millimeter thick or whatever, so they're, they're good for getting into your pockets, getting things out and they're really good gloves, I'd recommend them. Okay, so moving on down, we've got the Feral Concepts belt here. Um, we've got the M81 Woodlands, of course, for the Marshall impression, you know. Uh, we've got the 10 speed Blue Force gear, double pistol uh, pouches, and we've got a standard gun pouch, and then the smoke grenade pouch, which I use to put an old in there. Right, so moving on round, we've got a real Safari Land holster. There's not much in my kit, it's real legit stuff, but this is one of them that is. And further on down, we've got car more, but it's pretty standard. Okay, so here we have my primary weapon. Uh, it started off as a VFC M4, I think it was a 105R, don't quote me on that though. Um, it's now been converted into a Mark 18 Mod 1, keeping with the Marsoc theme. So we'll just show you some of the externals that we've got on here. We've got the GPS uh, down the bottom, it's a real Garmin that one. Uh, got an IR strobe, and on the other side, we've just got an, airsoft, or an aircraft request uh, sticker. Moving on up. We've got uh, GMP flip-up sights at the back. We've got the Beast, the Spectre. Uh, it's probably one of the best scopes that I've used. Um, it's times four, locked at times four, um, but really good for the, the price you pay, uh, decent scope. On top there, we've just got a wee QR code there, just for looks, you know. Um, moving on up, we've got another QR code with the Mark 18 style serial number. We've got an RPG uh, front grip at the front, obviously. Uh, I've got an Element M3X, and it's got the dual pressure switch for the PQ box, which is also Element, and obviously the torch. We've got the CAC front sights, the flip up sights, and we've got the CAC suppressor at the front there. Okay, so internally we've got a Pro Win hop up. I like them, they seem to work pretty well, do job. Uh, we've also got the ASCU Gen 3 Plus in here, and personally I wouldn't recommend them. I've had a lot of problems with them. They, they are decent when they work, but they don't seem to work for me most of the time. I don't know if I'm just unlucky, but I personally don't recommend them. I'm considering just resorting this back to stock parts and then just upgrading it sort of the old-fashioned way, I guess you could say, or getting another MOSFET. But apart from that, it's a great wee gun when it works. There you go, that's the Mark 18 Mod 1.
And lastly, we have my sidearm. It's a Tokyo Maru Glock 17. TM are probably the most reliable pistols you can get, to be honest. So I would go for them anytime, no matter what make or model. Um, works perfectly. This one has a Type 4 installed, and it seems to get pretty good range and good accuracy. Uh, we also have the um, X300 uh, Ultra on the front, and we've got the Garter lower as well. Standard mags, nothing special there. Okay guys, well thanks for checking out the review. Uh, it probably wasn't very good because this is the first one, but hopefully you've enjoyed it anyway, and we appreciate any likes on the video. Share it around, show it to your friends, you know, support the channel and check us out on Facebook. We're also on Instagram as well, so if you want to check us out, and we're going to have plenty of new content coming out, so stay tuned for more. Thanks guys, see you soon.